Hello, lovely nerds. Welcome back to the very last recording I'll be doing in this place. Very poorly lit as well. My apologies, um, but all my lamps are packed. Um, I wasn't really planning on doing another vlog, but I just sort of had the urge because I realized that I've been having a lot of issues with my overall gumption in life, you could say. Um, and I wanted to do kind of a spontaneous, completely unthought out, completely unvlogged, or rather, scripted vlog and uh, see how it goes. Maybe we'll, I'll release this, maybe I won't. We'll see. I'm getting a little with my words, so maybe I won't. <laughs> but I just wanted to reflect on the idea that I just was thinking about how driven I was when I was younger. I had this incredible push for life and for uh, succeeding and for becoming something and doing things in society and, and making a difference and breaking out of my poverty, becoming intelligent and, and contributing to society and all these different ideas and and I was I was so driven about breaking away from my poverty and becoming something that I thought it was worth sacrificing my body as many of you would know if you've watched my past trauma vlogs where I discussed that I like sort of put myself up on the chopping chopping block you could say um, very naively uh, because I thought it would get me success in my education initially that was my my initial motivation before I was like completely manipulated into it and just couldn't escape uh, and I was just reflecting on how driven I was, how incredibly driven I was to succeed then and to do something and to get somewhere and to be part of humanity and, and society and uh, now I still feel like I'm going through the motions of life um, you know, I'm still moving, I've still got things that are positive coming up in the future, I'm still working on my therapy every day and I'm improving a lot, um, actually. Uh, but that gumption, that drive, I don't even really understand where it came from, but I don't feel it the way I did. Um, and it's a lot to do with existential ideas and sort of how I've come to realize, you know, uh, humans part in evolution and just we're just kind of another animal amongst it all it's all kind of chaotic and and with all of that in mind uh, a lot of the significance I was I guess taught when I was younger about humanity and people and society within the world and and how we tend to just have this sort of overall feeling from a young age um, that we are above it all or we're more significant um, that somehow the world was here put for us and, and, and in coming around to learn how much that um, you know we've forced our way into nature nature didn't come here for us um, we're just another part of nature rather and, and like we're just another animal amongst it all and yes by the way I'm not religious I don't believe in any God or anything like that but I do have a spirituality about myself I don't know how to describe it um, don't believe in ghosts or anything like that. Anything that doesn't have science behind it, I have a hard time believing because I need, I need evidence. <laughs> but um, I also have like a sense about auras and, and about reading people and getting a feeling for people without ever having any actual like facts behind it. So yeah, I'm a little wishy-washy on it. But at the same time, there was a lot more significance and hard belief to the, how important people were as a thing on the planet and that in the universe and now we're just kind of another part of it in my mind and I haven't been able to reconcile with that I guess I haven't been able to be like and that's okay and we didn't ever need to be more important um, we didn't ever need to be significant it's it's just life this is life we are hydrogen observing itself <laughs> and that is cool um, and I really think it's probably related to the fact that I also carry a lot of pain. I'm always dealing with that pain every day. Um, and so, physical and mental. And so, um, that weighs on me on top of 
all of this and so it's like I guess maybe what I used to latch to to deal with my pain was these ideas of importance and significance and that I wanted to make change in society because I thought society was a great thing <laughs> now I look at humanity and I'm like we're doing good things but man do we suck in some areas <laughs> and and I guess I'm being a little defeatist because progress is always happening but when you carry so much pain it's really hard to see some of the um, regression lack of progression the back steps that some areas um, of social development are having um, and the constant fight it is to explain to everyone that it just makes sense to be empathetic and help each other because we get further but it's so hard to explain that and it takes so much energy to fight people on these subjects sometimes and and then when you think like when, when you lose that feeling that humanity is really important and significant it's like why are you fighting for it y'all bunch of frustrating monkeys that just won't listen <laughs> which is you know really um minimalizing it all and and i don't mean to do that i'm i'm uh, venting you could say this is a vent post for sure um because humanity is beautiful and we've done a lot and we are still doing a lot and i i want to have faith in that and i want to be a part of that progress but it's hard when i guess i'm just realizing that when I was younger, I very naively and like blindly had so much gumption and motivation for it all. And now that I can see it all more clearly, I'm also, I guess, wearing a lot of pain at the same time. So it's not so easy to reconcile with, but I'm working on it. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of other millennials and just people in general can relate to this whole existential issue, particularly being in the first world and, um, first world country rather and, and like being able to focus on such issues because you're not worried about whether the grocery store has enough food in it. Sorry my phone keeps going off. This was a very spontaneous post so I didn't plan anything in terms of turning off my phone. But anyway yeah so just sort of dealing with that while moving yay um, and it's gonna be quite a while till the next post probably but I really appreciate you guys sticking around and not unsubbing and being patient. Something else will be coming out in August where I will let you guys know what's coming up. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, just sort of working on that whole life gumption thing. Uh, and uh, carrying on, as usual, doing better, but that's, that's just kind of a constant struggle. And I thought I'd share and vent that with you guys. And if you have any thoughts or feelings or anything you can relate to in regard to any of that, please do comment below and share with me how you cope. <laughs> because it's not easy, as I'm sure you know, as I'm blabbing on about, and um, it's very frustrating to have to fight to be happy when things are actually getting better in my life. It's like, why, why, why is my brain still, still having me so unmotivated and so just blah, <laughs> depression and such. So, yeah, if you have any thoughts on that? please do feel free to share that below and as always do join me again next week or sometime soon where I will try again to share a little something I've learned or experienced in life.